when he wanted to inherit the blessing he was rejected for he found no place to repent for repentance those he sought diligently with the tears okay here clearly even before paul takes paul or john takes it to the the seriousness of the consequence of the output of this the profanity or defilement or lustful attack or whatever and paul is securing you paul or john who ever wrote hebrew so here the book of hebrew and he is securing your mind first and he is saving he is securing he put he puts an helmet upon your mindset first of all and this is god's children god's correction it is not like a earthly dad's correction they do for their name's sake for their benefits for their whatever but god the father not even his benefits it is for our benefit how to train us in the righteousness of god the more we are trained in the righteousness of god we are established and we are far from fear we are far from terror however the key strategy for the deliverance here is the mention of a a person called isa who is the twin brother of jacob from isa came a generation called amalekites from amalekites even a king agag from agag came haman remember in the book of um, esther haman and who really tried to kill mordecai for not wishing him is a very boastful prideful king who hates god's children who hates israel so here the haman or agag or amalekites let me give another background what happened is so here the amalekites in the bible they are the they are from the they are from the uh, isa generation so uh, you can see in uh, uh, in the book of first samuel 15 and uh, uh, 15 and 16 you can see how saul was very prideful and self will filled self righteous king evil king and he uh, god is commanding to uh, exterminate uh, all the amalekites uh, remember god says that and clean them out and cleanse them out and here pa saul is having the human sentiment or self will and he is having some sheep some cattle the fat cows and lambs they look so better how oh, why should we destroy them they are not even sick they are not even weak and paul is here sorry saul is holding without destroying them okay where are they they escaped okay and they come and go in the on scene off scene in the whole bible in uh, when the israelites crossed to the red sea uh, i mean when they were weary every time god's people are weary in the book of numbers in a uh, after jericho's uh, victory there are the defeat that happen you know uh, i don't recall the city names every time the israelites are losing something every time losing the def- losing or defeated or stressed out weary discouraged painful the samalakites come in the side path in the amalekites come and then they then they are uh, defeating god's people here why i read uh, read the flesh deeds of flesh in galatians it is all mentioned here and this deeds of flesh here hebrew author is connecting so with the isa the temptation so it is not merely god is not merely um, mentioning it uh, yeah it is pediatrician pediatrician word it's a chastisement and here hebrew 12 is uh, taking to the mount zion blessing remember we have not come to mount sinai but we have come to mount zion where the city of new jerusalem in numerable number of angels the perfect adjustment spirit the first born church the mediator of the new covenant who is jesus christ and pleading our case interceding for us and god who is judge of all we are through the blood of jesus we are invited and the we are the mount zion we are the city of jerusalem and god is in the midst the god who is the judge of all he is in the midst and most of all Christ Jesus the blood of Jesus that speak at the better things than that of Abel's blood it is pleading the case see there is no mention of holy spirit there so here at the center the the blood of Jesus that's why that's why that the wherever you speak the blood of Jesus believe in the blood of Jesus that's where the holy spirit of god is manifesting amen hallelujah it's a deep revelation so listen to me and before taking to the spiritual mountain 
God even mentions there, you did not come to Mount Sinai. What is the Mount Sinai? The law, the legalists and the law. And then where the people ask the law, where Jesus, where God the Father married Israel in the Mount Sinai, the law was given. Even a small animal, when trying to near the face of God, they shall be burned and be ashes. But you, beloved, you came to Mount Zion. Before God is taking to the Mount Zion, the heavenly city, the heavenly Jerusalem, the heavens, the first one, upper room, blessings. And God is preparing you for to preserve and to bless you with a more spiritual vitality. So here, and then for you to be blessed with a spiritual vitality, spiritual potential, and God is warning of some of the elements you have to be cautious of. So some of the elements who are cautious of is the Amalekites or Esau, temptation. So the Esau, it is not true for Esau that one time meal, he says, he asked um, his mom, Rebecca. So he is telling that mom, if you don't, if, you, if I skip one meal, that's it. If I skip one meal, that's it. I will die. I will die. Remember, he is making an inner woe. Write it, inner woe. So we are going to break the inner woe. Whatever your mom made against you or you made against you, whatever the wrong declaration about you, where those will, those power will really operate more than you are surrendering to God's will. That's the power of the inner woe. How, when it came, the power of the inner woe, when it came in the book of Ezekiel, you see the mention of Lucifer, the falling of the Lucifer, and he says he's telling to himself, I will climb up to this mountain. I will be worshipped. And then he's talking to his heart. That is called the inner woe. Okay. That is called the inner woe. And there is the mention, you know, I'm not, when you are so hurt, I'm not going to call any people to pray anymore. I am not going to go to church anymore. I am not going to attend prophetic conference that same. Ah, my mom went through. I am not going to deal with this. I mean, I know that. Closing the door. And, you know, I want to always look better than all. I want to be the best sibling of all. So it looks like sometimes some of them look like morale. Some of them are not uh, clean. But the inner woe examples, okay? And then inner woes are very, very powerful. So that came from, the inner woe came from Satan. So the Satan plays in the ground as long as you are operated in the law or legalism. Satan loses the grip when you are understanding the grace of the gracious father's heart. So, however, so this Amalekites key, this is the key, beloved. So, the Amalekites come every time the Israelites are stressed out. So, even though you see the, the flesh, what is the flesh? When God appointed, called uh, uh, Moses to appoint the priest and the God is very careful, they should not wear thick cloth. You know, made out of very some thick cotton or something. I don't remember the type of the cloth. And they have to wear fine linen because they should not sweat. And then I have mentioned already the encounter in the hell. One thing I cannot even forget. The darkness, deep darkness and the screaming and very strong sweat smell. So very strong set smell. So the sweat is connected with the stress. And it is the hellish spirit. Today the heart attack, diabetes, sexual sins, defiled dreams, lustful thoughts comes out of stress. The key element. So here the Amalekites are good at stressing you out. So as a God children, see, see. Uh, we are we are liberated by the spirit of God. The fleshly deeds are when you are putting effort, when you are trying to kind of, when you are. So what is happening? You are literally, this is the very heaviest yoke. Yoke. And Jesus says in Matthew 11, 28, he says, come unto me all who are in labor.